Up North at 4 with Dan and Jeff starts now. Congratulations, everyone. We made it to Friday. I'm Dan Hagen. Today on Up North at 4, we'll talk positive youth development and mentoring with 4-H educator Ann Williams. Then let's make some music with Charlie Strong from Northland Music right here in Ryan Lander. Then start your engines for an upcoming radar run in Land Lakes. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. A judge sentenced a former Rhinelander nurse to four years in prison today. Evan Sheedy of Three Lakes secretly recorded a partially nude patient last year. Sheedy appeared in Oneida County Court this afternoon. He was a nurse at St. Mary's Ascension when he took video of a patient without her consent. Judge Thomas Egan called Sheedy's actions a horrific violation of trust. Egan sentenced Sheedy to one count of capturing an intimate representation and a separate count of child pornography possession. After four years in prison, Sheedy will have three more years under supervision. Restitution will be paid to the victim in an amount to be determined. The Eagle River Historical Society launched its newest Facebook series earlier this month. This year's theme is objects that connect to Eagle River history. It's part of a continued effort by the society to make its history more accessible during the pandemic. The series highlights object-based learning for all ages. The society will post about twice per month during the year. You can find its page on Facebook at Eagle River Historical Society. It's hockey playoffs time. We had some regional action last night, starting in Eagle River with a four versus five matchup. Northland Pines hosting Marshfield. The Eagles brought the energy early. Grace Whitkoff on the breakaway, but look at this great save by Madison Wagner Dirt to keep things scoreless. A little bit later, Another Whitkopf shot, another Wagner Durr save. There it is, but Eagles stay on the offensive, this time off of a turnover. Mallory Schmidt shoots one in front that's deflected just wide, but the Eagles won't stay scoreless much longer. Whitkopf, again, a one-man wrecking crew, one-woman wrecking crew. She takes it down the ice and slides it over to a wide-open Schmidt. Who buries it? Eagles on top, 1-0. They win 4-0 and advance to face top-seeded D.C. Everest. Now let's head down to Highway 17 for some boys hockey. Ryan Lander hosting Tom Hawk, picking things up midway through the second period. Ryan Lander up 5-2, but here come the hatchets. Zach Frisky he does most of the work and Caleb Dickens is there to clean things up. That cuts the lead to five to three. But the Hodags, they kept up the pressure. Let's go to this puck drop and Cal Legas with a great pass, but Leo Loesch just can't put it in. And then a little bit later, Hodags on the break. A great pass, but even better save from Cody Cox. He kept his team in it, but the hatchets would still fall five to four. Rhinelander moving on. <laughs> Fellow hockey fanatic and chief meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now. Jeff, we finally got some snow. Yeah, hey Dan, happy Friday. The snow is actually leaving the area as we speak, but the winds are about to pick up and the colder temperatures are on the way. But if you like snow, there is some more snow in the seven day forecast. All right, so outside right now, here goes the band of snow to the east of us as we speak. There is still, though, some flurries and some wind and blowing and drifting snow across parts of western Wisconsin now that will come to an end tonight. However, it'll take its time doing so as the winds are about to really pick up around here, already gusting near 25 throughout the day today. We'll get wind gusts up near 40 miles per hour this evening before it falls down tonight. So it's going to get worse before it gets better uh, with that drifting snow out there tonight in the early parts of tomorrow morning. All right, so here's visibility again. The bulk of the heaviest snow now is pushed over into parts of Michigan. Uh, that are getting it now, but behind it still some light flurry action and reduced visibility due to blowing snow. So it's going to happen us tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll keep that light flurry action across the area and thus the advisories are still posted. Now I know there's a lot going on here, right? So here we have a wind chill advisory for wind chills tonight down near 25 degrees below zero. There is a wind advisory across parts of central Wisconsin for high winds approaching 45 miles per hour. There's a winter weather advisory south shore of Lake Superior for more snow up that way. There's a lot going on here, but overall expect a cold night tonight with gusty winds near 40 miles per hour, giving us wind chills near 25 degrees below zero and blowing and drifting snow. 
there we got it all done right uh, temperature wise out there right now though we're hanging out oh back in the teens again uh, so yeah but hold on warmer temperatures are on the way in fact on Sunday, we could have high temperatures back up near 45 degrees once again, as there's lots of spring action happening across uh, the Midwest right now, but that's going to try to move our direction. In the meantime, though, the cold air is going to win. It's going to win tonight with low temperatures down near five below and tomorrow basically hanging out in the teens. OK, if you like snow, here's one band coming through there today, right? But upstream, Thinking about Monday into Tuesday, there's going to be a very energetic system across the Great Lakes that could easily bring us one of our biggest snows of the season so far on Monday into Tuesday. Our forecast though tonight though is partly cloudy skies, cold, blowing in drifting snow and windy with low temperatures down near five below your full forecast at five o'clock. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. I wish I could find somewhere to eat that serves lunch so I can relax and have someone clean up after me. Hmm, I miss lunch at the Rhinelander Cafe and Pub. The Rhinelander Cafe and Pub is opening for lunch? The Rhinelander Cafe and Pub is opening for lunch. The Rhinelander Cafe and Pub will be opening for lunch starting February 22nd. Exciting new choices, but some of the favorites too. It's more than a basketball court that nurtured a championship. For Alex Lazary, building Pfizer Forum was about creating opportunity. We said workers come first, $15 an hour pay, and 80% of the building materials are going to come from Wisconsin. Alex Lazary kept those commitments. Some just talk. Alex got it done. That's why so many labor unions have endorsed Alex. He'll be a senator who works as hard as Wisconsin. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message because leadership is about what actually gets done. This is the purpose-built Ford F-150. It's a beast with brains. It, you know what? Skip this video. Go see one at the auto show. It's auto show time. The best time to buy a Ford F-150 with ways to power up this and that. Work smarter. Muscle for most anything. Plus, special auto show offers to help you bring one home today. Now get a 2021 F-150 with 0.9% financing for 60 months plus 1,000 auto show bonus cash. <laughs> We're back and up north at four. We are joined by Ann Williams from Oneida County 4-H. Ann, how are you doing today? Good. Thanks for having me. Well, let's start with the very foundation. Can you tell me about 4-H? What is 4-H? Sure. 4-H is an organization for all youth in grades five-year-old kindergarten through one year past high school. And um, it's free to join any time. And the 4-H's in the clover mm -hmm. uh, stand for head. Uh, heart, hands, and health. And that mm -hmm. simply means that we're just committed to helping kids and teens learn life skills like decision making, problem solving, generosity, making healthy choices, and more. And 4-H has such a rich and long history, right? Yes. Uh, how do you bring that to life in the Northwoods right now? Yeah, so we we were able to do a lot of virtual programming through COVID, so that was really helpful. Um, and it was great to see we had, we actually grew our program during COVID. Really? Um, yeah, we were able to um, convert some things from in-person to virtual and um, some things we were able to do outside. So it actually, um, we've been doing, it's been, it's been good this, these past few years. Great. 4-H has long been associated with raising livestock, or am I completely wrong? Because <laughs> that's what, I, that's what comes the to ribbons, mind. The ribbons, yeah. right? 4-H yeah. has its roots in agriculture. Right, okay. Um, so that's, a lot of it was um, a way to, um, to bring um, advancements in agriculture and technology, and one way to help people understand it better was getting youth involved to, to teach the parents and the adults about what these new advancements were. Mm -hmm. But over time, we've really expanded a lot. A lot of times now, it's a lot of uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. It's a lot of life skill development. It's a lot of a sense of belonging, um, connecting with caring adults. So. Yeah. yeah, and you know, head, heart, health. There's a lot going on there. Yeah, and, and hands, and you know, <laughs> lessons to kind of learn through your entire life. Mm -hmm. You're catching these kids early and kind of instilling those behaviors early. What's their feedback to you? 
They are, I know a lot of, especially um, as we're trying to help kids and youth and teens and even adults become resilient, you know, hard times, adversity. We want to make sure that they are still staying connected. They're still pursuing their passions, their interests, their sparks, and that um, they still have that sense of belonging. So that's why 4-H is still so important. Well, there's an opportunity coming up for some of those kids to follow those sparks. What's the event in April? Yeah, we're um, Oneida County 4-H is hosting the um, the Oneida County Youth Cultural Arts Festival, mm -hmm. and it's going to be held at 9 a.m. on Saturday, April 23rd, at no the Northwood Center at Nicolet Area Technical College. And basically, what it is is um, youth and teens, um, grades kindergarten through 12th, can bring something, present something, create something, and show us something um, in the areas of art, music, theater. Um, demonstrations and photography and then they will present it and there'll be um, local professionals who have experience in those areas who will provide um, positive feedback and the whole purpose of that is really to um, provide these youth with feedback and so that they can use what they've learned and learn how to improve and grow in their in their interests. And it's a Thank cultural you. arts festival. There's a lot of stuff going on there and like the you know, we, we instill cultural arts for me, like around the Northwoods, there's mm -hmm. lots of music people around the Northwoods, right? Mm -hmm. Do you find there's also lots of cultural diversity across Northwoods as well with the 4-H students? Yeah, that's always the goal. We want to yeah. see a lot of diversity. We want to see a lot of ability levels. Um, we want to make sure that everyone's included. Um, and so that's um, this event too. We want to make sure that we are including as many people as possible and making it um, not no barriers to participate. So if anyone needs language access or um, access accommodations or any of that, being a part of UW Extension, we can help provide those mm -hmm. as well. And yeah, we really open it up to um, a wide range of, of arts. So painting, um, sculpting, drawing. Um, if you like to take a picture of your dog, I mean, this would be a great photo, <laughs> right? Um, that's all in included in it. Yeah. Well, I want to mention a picture that you sent me of a Three Lakes student. She made, I think, a, a chocolate yes, mug cake. So how is this uh, associated with 4-H? <laughs> yeah, last year um, we hosted a demonstrations festival. And so a demonstration is just showing somebody how to do something. Um, it could be like Hannah did, um, a three ingredient chocolate mug cake, I think she had. But we also had um, youth bring in like how to knead dough and ballet positions and um, how to build Lego. Um, airplanes I think it was sure. yeah, yeah. and so anyway the whole point of a demonstration is really to um, just to show somebody something and I think I don't know there might have been a time in your life now that you guys are in the communication field um, you can recall back that first moment of when you got to speak and people were listening mm -hmm. and you found out that you had a voice that you had something to say and they listened <laughs> hopefully that's the goal yeah, yeah. Um, but then they they learn something. So um, we want to give youth that opportunity. And at this event, there's no judging. So it's not like you get first, second, third, or fourth. In fact, everyone who participates will get a medal. It's a really nice medal. And then also a comment sheet from the local professionals and um, also a participation in ribbon. So hopefully the youth will go back, will leave that event feeling really, really good about themselves. Love it. Well, and thank you so much for coming on. Thank if you. people at home, very briefly, because we're out of time, mm -hmm. how can they reach out to you or 4-H? Just go to our website. Um, it's oneida.extension.wisc.edu, or they can call 715-365-2750. 2750. And yeah. Williams, thanks so much for joining thank us on North Half 4. We'll be right back after the break. Charlie from Northland Music is going to join us and show us some instruments. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs, sacrifices, but I'll keep going. Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all. I won't give up. I'm doing this for me. And for them. We're doing this. Together. North Central Technical College's virtual college. Flexible learning. Because our time is precious. 
Welcome to today's Elite Money Minute with the Elite Advisor Team. Hey Pat, you wanna play a game? It's been a while since I threw in league. Sure, let's throw some darts. Dang, I'm getting killed. You still got it, Mike. I need to get a coach. You know what, Patrick? It's hard to do anything for the first time and be good at it. Just like retirement. You only get one shot at retirement, so you may want to talk to a professional before doing so. That's true, Victor. I wouldn't want to come up with an income, tax, health, or estate plan all by myself. There's so much that goes into retirement, you do really need to work with a professional. Don't try to plan for retirement alone. Make sure your retirement hits the bullseye by giving our office a call at 1-800-469-2040 and request your free copy of Retirement Be Prepared. That's today's Elite Money Minute. For more information on this topic or other retirement ideas and information, visit our website at retireidea.com. We're backing up North at Four with Charlie Strong from the Northland Music Center here in Rhinelander. Charlie, how are you doing? Doing well. How are you guys? Really I'm good. doing well. I want to learn about this instru these instruments, but first tell us a little bit about Northland Music Center. Uh, it's a full-service music store. Uh, there's lessons, repairs, rentals. Uh, we pretty much deal with all of it across the board. So as you can see, some guitars as well. And you brought three guitars or two and a ukulele today, right? Yeah, bass, uh, electric guitar, and a ukulele. So kind of a, some of the prettier looking ones. Now these look fancy <laughs> to me. Are these uh, high-end guitars or where does somebody usually start you, in the guitar market? These are probably a little bit uh, above the entry level. So kind of getting into that higher end. Um, but we have uh, plenty of beginning stuff. That's kind of what our bread and butter is. Mm -hmm. and, a few little higher pieces like this. Got it. So I'm curious, you know, everyone's dealing with supply chain issues right now. How long did it take to get these pieces in? Uh, some have taken a lot longer than others. Uh, we've been kind of, we kind of prepared pretty well last year, um, planned ahead. We knew there was going to be an issue and we have a plenty of inventory and it's coming in every day and actually we have a lot of stuff. So Great. Um, so maybe the problem is kind of ending or is there are there still some issues with this supply chain? We're still dealing with some okay. but I think it's it's starting to shift. Um, I'm, I'm definitely seeing more orders coming in sooner than later. So okay. but and you probably get to meet lots of parents who have kids interested in music. When they come into your store, where do you kind of start them off at? Where do you what direction do you point them? It depends on the age. Uh, kids they get a wide range of uh, things they're interested in but if they're kind of in that really early stage, between five and ten, always piano. Always piano. throw them there. Um, once you get up there, ten, uh, you can kind of let them gauge Pick. where they're what's you know they're leaning towards. So guitar and other instruments. Ukulele is huge. Um, we sell so many ukuleles, but piano is great for the younger kids. And we have a, a massive lesson program. We have I think four teachers right now. So really? for, oh, for piano anyway. So for some experienced folks back home, are there any common like maintenance issues that you've seen people bringing in guitars, they're not doing something properly? Yeah, for up north here, or any anytime we get into the winter, uh, wood instruments need humidity constantly in the, in the winter time. And I unfortunately see so many guitars come in that are mm. just too mm. far gone and you can't do anything What do you mean it. by far gone? What happens to them? On acoustic guitars, uh, the, the wood starts to move. Uh, there's yeah. so much pressure on strings and the bridges will lift. The, the just they, It starts to collapse in on itself because it doesn't have any strength without any, you know, when it gets dry. So people at home who rarely use their guitar, where's a good place in their house to store it that has that humidity? Is there a good place? Um, you can leave them in a room if it's, you've got a room humidifier running and some people like to hang them on the wall. Um, you can throw it in a case and then you can buy humidifiers that go inside the case and the Hold guitar it. when you're not using it. That's a great thing to do if you're storing Like a it. humidor kind of for cigars. Yeah. Exactly. Same, do you same have a humidor at your place? I do not. Place? No. I don't, do you think anyone at home has a humidor? <laughs> 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 it's the same premise, Dan. It is. It yeah, is, it's right it behind is. my wine cellar. Uh, Charlie, I'm curious, do you think people have tried more lessons or tried more music during the pandemic when they're stuck at home? Uh, they have. It's instruments sales have gone through the roof oh, neat. Uh, in the last couple of years. It's, it's been record-breaking years in the industry every year. So it's, it's, and that's part of the reason why the supply chain issue is, sure. is hard. But. Um, but uh, right now our lesson program is, is up and running. I think it's, we probably have some of the most students we've ever had. Um, so 
those are go rolling pretty well. So Very nice. Cool. Well, thank you, Charlie. Definitely check out Northland Music. It's downtown Rhinelander. Thanks so much for joining us on the show. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll be right back on up north half four. We're going to talk to a person about a radar run coming up in Lando Lakes. Hey, it's Tyrone Jackson. You want to track the careers of your favorite celebrities every single week? Then join me right here for Digital Podcast Network presents Hot in Hollywood. Right here on WJFW. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. The President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture is one of the biggest sales of the year, now with special doorbusters. Starting Sunday, get incredible doorbuster deals, like a modern sofa chase with a free lift-top table, all while they last. Wow. Wow is right. Deals up to 60% off list throughout the store. Find a great accent piece, a warm fireplace, an amazing recliner, one of the best times to buy furniture. The huge President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture. Employers everywhere are struggling to find workers. Our region is competing nationwide to attract and retain talent. We choose to live in a place where the quality of life is great. But what makes the Wausau area special? Is it the natural beauty and all of the different ways we can enjoy it? Is it our vibrant and evolving downtown? Is it our innovative and diverse businesses? Whatever the reasons, the Chamber is here to support business and make our community even greater. Get your Newswatch 12 trail report every week on Newswatch 12 at 10, Thursday and Friday nights. And Newswatch 12 today, Friday mornings. The Newswatch 12 trail report is brought to you by these Northern Wisconsin and UP Skidoo dealers. We're back on Up North at 4 now with Phil Mendham from the Frosty Snowmobile Club up in Land Lakes, Wisconsin. Phil, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me. Well, Land Lakes is going to be full of maybe 10,000 people tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow? Well, we have our uh, 20th or so uh, radar run at Ben's Camp, which is a major fundraiser for the Frosty Snowmobile Club. Uh, our club has about 300 members, and we have to raise about 50% of our funds for groom grooming the snowmobile trails uh, by all these different events and festivities and things that we hold. And this is a big event. It's uh, geared to make lots of money. What are the events that will be with this tomorrow? Well, there's a lot of different events. Um, we've got raffles. We've got free hot chocolate. Uh, we've got 12 different um, classes of radar runs. They'll be running on a 1,000-foot um, snow strip out on uh, uh, Mamie Lake on, at Ben's Camp, mm -hmm. just about 10 miles west of Land Lakes. Nice. Very cool. And the trails up in Land Lakes are great. You guys usually get a lot of snow. Is that the well, case this year? Yeah, Land Lakes, our motto is the top trails at the top of Wisconsin, and uh, we're still grooming seven nights a week. Everything is good. Traffic is intense. We can't believe how many people we're seeing. That's cool Since there's not so much snow, you know, in other parts of the Midwest and even out west. So we're really enjoying a banner season. Yeah, we're getting some snow out there now. Uh, it'll be even better conditions tomorrow across the trails. For those who don't know, what's, uh, what's involved with keeping the trails in working condition? Well, we have two different uh, machines, uh, piston bully groomer and a New Holland tractor. We probably have 10 or 12 different groomer operators that are out there each and every night. You know, it's a year-round thing now, getting landowner approval, mm. um, signage, brushing, um, everybody's been pitching in and doing a great job helping us raise money and keeping the trails flat as we can. Well, thanks so much, Phil, and congratulations on a good season. And then again, tomorrow we got the radar run. And tell us the address again. Uh, it's at Ben's Camp on Mania Lake of the Cisco Chain. Uh, registration starts at 10 a.m. Uh, run started at 11. And a super popular bikini run will be at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Gotta have a bikini Gotta run. have it. It's going to be a radar <laughs> run. <laughs> yes. Thanks so much, Phil. Hopefully Pedro. it won't be as cold as, next, as last year. <laughs> yeah, it'll we'll be cold. right back after the break. <laughs> three, two, one. This is the extreme. I love it. 
where the smoke there's fire Bow down, bow down This is my world now, this is my world now Bow down So you better bow down Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Call Wisconsin's number one remodeler, Mad City Baths, your window and bath partner of the Green Bay Packers. For easy access, tub to shower conversions and walk-in tubs installed in as little as one day. Act now to be one of 50 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, no payments, senior and military discounts. And we're going to take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program to receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. And ask about Mad City's Do More discount on extra savings on new Eco Sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. You can trust Mad City will treat you right and put a great product in your home. We just wanted something we didn't have to worry about again. And we've seen this at Mad City or that. We thought, wow, that's the way to go. For the first time when it was actually all done, I actually had tears in my eyes because, like I said, it, it really looked nice. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers. A-plus rating with the BBB. Imagine replacing your old bath with a new walk-in shower, barrier-free shower, walk-in tub with premium wall patterns including quartz, Santa Cruz, and more installed in as little as one day. Remember, 50 homeowners who call now will receive free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, and no payments. Senior and military discounts. Let us take the before and after pictures and listen to this. You'll be compensated for your time. And if you call now, you get a $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. From Wausau and North Central Wisconsin, called now with zip code and location to qualify. 715-941-4238, 715-941-4238. Jeff, I have a way for us to get rich. How is that? We are going to go to the Atlantic Ocean okay. and find all these cars that are stranded. They're on in a the boat. ocean. Oh. Yeah, so this is the Felicity Ace. It's containing Porsches and Volkswagens, but the problem is it caught on fire and all the crew members had to abandon ship. So it's just drifting so out there. So it's just drifting out there. And I think maritime law. Keep in mind, viewers, I'm making this up. Means we can go commandeer this ship <laughs> so, and so take all these cars. Doesn't and then that make sell you them. like a pirate? <laughs> we should become pirates. Oh, geez, Dan, I think we should keep our day jobs. <laughs> okay, you're probably right. You're let's, gonna... let's earn money respectfully, yeah, right? Yeah, let's, let's talk about whether that is your job currently. Well, you know, it least. is Friday. Uh, the trails have had a workout this entire season, very crowded snow trails. We got an inch or two of snow out there today. Tomorrow looking good and Sunday as well, but a high temperature Sunday near 40 for one day only. And then if you like snow, if you've been talking to somebody upstairs, a couple of you have, I know. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, we have a good shot now for maybe the biggest snow of a season so far. Ooh, that's Late exciting. Monday and Tuesday. Okay, we'll see. That, still several days away. I don't want that to slow down my yeah. ski race, so no. I'm going to pray it's Work a little on the later up. side. We'll adjust full forecast at 5 and 6. We'll see you then. I really...